on the zoo with the author of My American Dream. My underground American Dream. Oh, I apologize. Ooh. The one and only, Julissa Arce. Welcome, Welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, you know our tradition here, girl. At the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Okay. Are you okay? I know. So, <laughs> it's getting dangerous here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Julissa has a very special, uh, not demarcation, but um, classification. These are all the wrong words. Basically, she's our first returning guest. <laughs> yes. Yay! 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 Returning. Yeah. It takes two, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> so you got your book out, My Underground American Dream. You know, we were talking about the Snowden thing before and how they surveillance everything. And you, you asked me a great question in between uh, when we were on the commercial break. What would, ha, ha, say it again. Say how yeah, you asked like, me. You know, how is it possible that I was undocumented for 15 years and I wasn't ever found out? Right, I worked at Goldman Sachs. I, um, I mean, I was out there, and still nobody came knocking on my door. Saying, Maybe that's it. You work for Goldman Sachs, so they thought, hey, you know, mm. she's part of the Illuminati. Maybe, <laughs> um, but I mean, this whole thing of national security yeah. to me is really interesting because since 2001, since 9/11, we have put immigration and national security mm. in the same conversation. Mm. And so immigration has actually changed dramatically and significantly as a result of the events of 9-11. Now all of it falls under the Department of Homeland Security. Right. So it's, it's affected, I think it's affecting a lot more things that it wasn't intended to mm. affect. Mm -hmm. Okay, as someone who was in Goldman Sachs before, you know, you worked in the world of finances, what are your opinions about Donald Trump, uh, you know, Running for the presidency, possibly. Yeah. Um, so, like, watching Donald Trump at uh, at the debate, I was like, I have seen this outburst, and I have seen this interruptions, and I have seen this condescending looks Ugh. my entire life, mm. and especially you know at work in the office. And Did I think you ever meet him? Because you worked in New York too. So I never met him, but interestingly, his daughter Ivanka Trump tweeted out my story wow. and said, "We love the story of an undocumented immigrant." And I think you know, if you loved my story three months before your dad announced his presidency, what what has changed? Or are you just willing to say and do anything to get your dad elected, mm. right? Mm. But think, talking back to the debate, I was watching this debate and I was like, you know, every woman can relate to what it's like to be Hillary Clinton mm. at that debate, being interrupted. Mm -hmm. And here is a man who thinks that everybody should follow the law except for him. Mm -hmm. right? He calls himself smart mm -hmm. when he's avoiding the law and skirting the law. Mm -hmm. But yet, he calls undocumented immigrants criminals mm -hmm. and rapists. Yeah. So it's sort of like what you can't ask for people to follow the rule of the law every single piece of it when you yourself are figuring mm -hmm. out ways to skirt it and go Avoid around it, it and call yeah. yourself smart when you do it. And well, undocumented workers yeah, are, are contributing to society. Right. He is taking from these people right. who work their lives lives yeah. to yeah. invest in properties and right. then just destroying their, their income. Now, you know, insane. I'll tell you the part of the debate that hit, hit it for me where I was like, okay, Hillary really did win this and, and, and I forgot about it because I look at it from a media and political junkie, mm -hmm. analytical eye, I can see the prepared answers. I can mm -hmm. see the lack of preparation on Trump. But when she started hitting him on the fact that he um, gypped all these working vendors at all his buildings, yep. these hardworking people, and his response, that smug response, he goes, well, maybe I didn't like the job that he did. That one was what, I think that won the middle over for yeah, him. Yeah, talk about the architect. That's what she won. Yeah. yeah. That, that yeah. and when he said, when he said, uh, it's smart that I avoided taxes, yeah, and then right. she comes back and says, that's zero for our roads, for our schools, yeah. for our veterans, for our military. That was a good one too. I mean, that was, that was such an amazing, critical moment in the debate because right. you're being smart at the expense of everyone else. Mm. And by the way, you know, f for me, and this, the issue of, of immigration, of course, is really important. That's what I talk a lot about mm. in the book. When he says he's paid zero, ta zero dollars in taxes, I think, you know, as an undocumented immigrant, I pay taxes. Mm. So, Undocumented immigrants have paid $100 billion into the Social Security Fund. Wow. So we have paid more taxes than Donald Trump has. Well, did he wow. really admit to not paying taxes? It's the way that he responded that makes a lot of people think that he's admitting to not paying taxes. But did he really admit to it? So do, 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 Yes, he did. He, he paid zero taxes for those years that his uh, his tax um, that his tax uh, statements have actually been released. But using loopholes, I think what he's asking is that he didn't do it criminally. He used every advantage that he can with his group of accountants to make sure that he could pay as little as possible, which is zero. I was just gonna say, like I'm sure there's a lot of women watching you 
just I'm following you through your book and through your social media and I'm pretty sure like that you are an inspiration to these people because having been like in Texas where you started right in San mm -hmm. Antonio and um, your reality as an 11 year old no English no nothing to what you've become it's an inspiration to me as well like to everyone out there document or undocumented just like that story of success yeah so that's you. great to know you guys have to pick up the book yeah yes it's yeah. available everywhere Barnes and Noble Amazon, Amazon everywhere now we're gonna be back with more we're gonna talk about something that you're doing with America Ferreira okay and it's all gonna happen right here on the zoo Stay yeah. 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 here as a guest we're so happy to have you, you. so um, we want to know what the project is uh, with America Ferrera what is it that you're doing can you explain to us where we can find it what it is and what comes next yeah thank you what's so, cooking um, so first of all anyone who's out in LA all of you ex hope to see you all of you there October 17th at the That's uh, my I'm going to be in Iceland. Well, but you're Libra or Scorpio? Libra. Okay. Well, who knows Libra. now with this new, you know, there's like a whole new horoscope. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like a uh -oh. new horoscope. Uh, oh. So like everybody's been yeah. lied to all their lives. <laughs> but, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm freaked out. Um, anyway. But October 17th on your birthday, uh, we'll be at the Jerry and Ann Moss Theater in Santa Monica mm -hmm. doing a conversation and uh, I'll be doing a, a reading and a book signing as part of uh, Live Talks LA. So come out, come out to that. Okay. Um, America has also optioned the rights to my book and we're oh. developing it into a TV series. Set up Hollywood! <laughs> From Wall Street to Hollywood! Oh, wow! wow. That's right. Are um, you already looking at actresses to play yourself? Oh no, that's the, I'll, I'll leave that to the to the casting directors. But, really? Um, well, but, put in a good word for Vivian. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what I really hope it does though? I hope that it can open the doors to like uh, undiscovered talent. Yeah, right? Right. Just in the, in the way that like Gina that. Rodriguez has been mm -hmm. able to, to come up. Uh, I'm just excited to see a different representation of a Latina on television. Which yes. is what we're used to seeing all the time. Absolutely. Well, go ahead, go ahead, Vivian. Sorry, I was just gonna ask something that, that I was curious about on the on the break. Did you ever in a million years think when you were little that your life was gonna turn out to be what it is now and what what's coming? Because having a potential, you know, serious TV series coming you know, telling your story, it's a freaking big deal. Yeah. And I think that the, I don't know, but like a lot of people look up to you, but what is the feeling though? Because I want to know that part. Because that, that's like another dream coming true. I mean, really? Yeah. So it's, it's been a really, it's been a really strange sort of journey the last two years from going to being like, really unknown and, and by design, right? Like, I didn't want to be found out and wanted to know about me. So like now, you know, I'm sitting here with you fine people like telling my story. I wrote a book about it. Um, so it's a really have, strange Are story. you a citizen now? Oh, I'm that a citizen. was my Congratulations. Congratulations. Did they you. fast track it after this book or was it something that you had to? <laughs> no, I became a citizen in 2014 and you better believe I'm going to be voting and, and there you go. I yes. am with her. There oh, you there go. Boy, <laughs> let's, bring, let's bring it back to the debates for a second, talking about the way Latinas are portrayed. Um, oh one of the things that came out of the debates is Donald Trump doubling down on what he said about uh, Miss Alicia Universe, Machado. Who does Alicia that? Machado, Venezuela. Um, he criticized her weight at the time. He wasn't running for president at the time, but he's running for president now, and you would think that he'd say, hey, you know what, I wasn't thinking, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was gonna run for president, I was completely jerky and chauvinistic. No, he's doubling down and he's saying that he said the right thing. Please share oh, your thoughts. Oh God, he's, oh, I cannot stand that man. I mean, he, just does, he just says whatever comes out of his mouth mm -hmm. without thinking that he is, I was about to say a bad word, that he is running for president of this great nation. I mean, right. you know, to, to, first of all, like, women, we, we get judged by our work mm -hmm. and by our appearance, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, you have to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. By the way, I look at her and I'm like, yeah. How is she overweight, first right. of all? Because she's freaking beautiful. Right. And then, you know, to be calling her like, the, basically calling her the cleaning lady. Miss Housekeeping. Miss Housekeeping. And Miss Piggy. Because she's Latina. And, and, and that, to me, is the most offensive Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Right? Because, I'm sorry, Donald, but I, first of all, cleaning ladies deserve the same amount of respect as right. everyone else. But like, hello, yeah. I was freaking probably trading your investments. Right. So we, have a lot bigger aspirations and to and to and to pin us to this one profession right. because we're Latinas is so offensive. Oh, this you guys will love this. Yeah. During the debate, 
¿Cómo registrarme para votar? Which means how to register to vote. Yeah. In Spanish, the, the, the Google search spiked wow. to like an all-time high. So wow. as people are watching this debate, they're Googling, <gasps> how do I register to vote? Yeah. Amazing. And I promise you, those people that are registering to vote are doing so so that they can vote against Trump. I, I want to get your and financial... There's an easy app for that, by the way, that, that we yeah. were told we have, before. Yeah. Uh, by vote the way, about. we have our own campaign. It's about sharing and showing up to vote. As, a, as someone who's in finance, too, I'm curious, what do you think he's hiding on his tax uh, uh, returns? And is he as rich as he says he is? Because I think that part of his brand is that he says he's, you know, so rich, but maybe he's not. No, he'll be added. He'll be added. I mean, there is, he, he that's the, the other interesting thing he said during the debate, which was, I'm going to give all these rich people tax breaks mm -hmm. so they can create jobs. Right. I'm like, those rich people are going to take that money and take it to the Cayman Islands. Right. Yeah. They well, trickle like, down, trickle down, and doesn't work. It's like proven not to work. What, all know. his ideas. Or put it in the stock market. You know, a lot of people Ugh. say, well, the stock market is up. And uh, honestly, when the stock market is up, that's a reflection of people who have enough money to invest in the stock market. But when it comes to real wages, they're stagnant. Mm -hmm. And we need somebody that's going to go in there and make sure that the middle class and the underclass can get bumped up a little bit because the rich are getting richer and the rest of us are just staying in the same spot. Yeah, but Hillary Clinton is rich too. Like, how much does oh, she totally. really but care she, about, she about the middle class? Well, but she, she is She cares rich. a lot about the middle class. She's, she, she has a lot of money and she gets paid a lot of money. And you know what, girl, get your money. Mm. However, she, she has hell paid of a job for that. She wow. has paid millions and millions of dollars in taxes and has given millions and millions and millions of dollars to charity. I got I got I got a challenge on the charity. It's usually the Clinton Foundation that she gives to. <laughs> and there's a lot of controversy with that, but I just I'm just throwing that little outfit. But I will say that you're Devil's right. She here. does well yes. no, but she does she does pay taxes. Um, and she, you know, has she contributes to our country in a way that Donald Trump hasn't. And has never. And we'll country. never probably do. No, you anything. can already yes. tell. Like, you know, I really urge the people in Middle America mm. who are voting for him because they think he's going to provide them opportunities to to just take a look at his proposed policies mm. because there is no tax break for you if you are in middle in in, in lower income brackets. He just wants to bring the, the, the upper tax rate right. down. That's and, it. And what what Hillary is calling the trumped up trickle down right. economics, right. which mm -hmm. don't work, and we cannot let him become president. Kim Kardashian, 2024.